How to make potassium iodide? Warning: Potassium hydroxide is corrosive. Iodine is toxic. Wear proper safety equipments when handling chemicals. For this reaction, I use 6 grams of iodine and 2.6 grams of potassium hydroxide. Normally, potassium iodide is a very expensive chemical, but making potassium iodide from iodine and potassium hydroxide is very cheap. To start the reaction, I added 40 milliliters of distilled water into a beaker. Then I dissolved 2.6 grams of potassium hydroxide. Then I start to heat the beaker. After that, I added iodine crystal slowly. Here, potassium hydroxide reacts with iodine and give potassium iodate, potassium iodide and water. You can see when iodine dissolved in potassium hydroxide turn into slightly yellow color solution. In my case, potassium hydroxide was not enough for the reaction because of the impurity was in potassium hydroxide. So I decided to add more pellets of potassium hydroxide. After adding potassium hydroxide again, solution went colorless slowly. Now you can see some potassium iodate is floating in the mixture. Potassium iodate solubility in water is very low. Therefore, we can remove it by cooling solution. Then I stop the heating and cool down the mixture to 0 Celsius. Then I filter the solution to remove potassium iodate. After that, solution was transferred to 250 milliliter beaker. Now I heat the beaker to remove all the water in the beaker. When volume reached about 10 milliliters, I transferred the liquid into a 50 milliliter beaker. After that, I kept heating the beaker until all the liquid was boiled off. Here is the final product, 7 grams of potassium iodide mixture. There is little amount of potassium iodate as impurity. To remove potassium iodate, we can heat solid mixture in a crucible to 550 to 650 Celsius. In this case, potassium iodate will decompose to potassium iodate and put oxygen gas.